Hello and welcome to Minecraft Now. We're back! Yay! Uh, we're still at home and you're at home, so we're all kind of together. I'm your host, Lydia Winters, and I'm so excited to be back this month. We're gonna be hanging out with two people that I absolutely adore, Agnes and Alexander, who are gonna show us something real cute. Hi! Hello. Hi, Lydia! Welcome, you two. You're gonna show us something cute and derpy. Indeed, very cute and derpy. The frogs. The yes, frogs. Lovely frogs. We're gonna do a lot of frog stuff today. Lots of cool frog things. And oh, and we even have a set for the two of you to be in. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty. But first, all those frogs. All the amazing frogs and all the yeah. cats around as well. <laughs> I love all the cats. We need tadpoles. I want tadpoles. <laughs> yes, we definitely need to have some tadpoles. We have a packed show today. We have lots of things that we're going to be going through. Agnes and Alexander are going to be on a frog adventure trying to find all three variants. We have another section of You Made It where we have some very cool warden things to show you. Then we're gonna hop on the Mojang Studios team server and look at some Mojang builds from our team. Then we have Block Buzz with Jewel, where we're gonna give you an update of what's been happening in February. And then we have a really fun frog mini game at the end. So let's jump into our frog adventure. Make sure that while you're watching, please feel free to drop a chat in and I will be asking Alexander and Agnes your frog questions. So let's get to it. Oh, there, I'm a cat. That's very cute. <laughs> it's even named Lydia. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's a very adorable cat. I love it. So what are we going to look for today? Just frogs? Tadpoles? What's happening, you two? Well, I think we're going to go on a little exploration. Uh, we're going to talk about the frogs, which is this amazing new mob added to Minecraft. I think we will have a lot of fun. What are you most excited for with the frogs as you've been making them? Oh, <laughs> that's a well, tricky that... question. <laughs> yeah, you, you start, Agnes. No, you, you can start. Um, <laughs> I, but, but the thing is, I, I love to look at mobs or everything, you know, with the, uh, the overviews, so everything together, the holistic views. So it's hard to pick one thing, but um, I do like the that they are cold blooded and and that you can get variants depending on on the temperature they grow up in. I think that's really really cute. That's so awesome. What about for you, Alexander? Oh yeah, I, I definitely have one favorite thing, and that is that the uh, frogs can eat the tiny slimes. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's a change. So tell tell us more about that. <laughs> So, yeah, for sure. Yeah, the, go ahead, Agnes. <laughs> the, the initial plan, which we also showed at Minecraft Live, was that frogs were going to eat fireflies. But when we had shown that, we started to get lots of feedback about, but fireflies can be poisonous. The frogs are going to die. And and I, we didn't know that. So I actually started to read a lot about fireflies and frogs. And I learned a lot. And indeed, like fireflies are actually lots of different species. Species, species. I mm -hmm. cannot pronounce the word, but species, uh, species of, of beetles, and some of them are poisonous. So we decided to to change the design, uh, so we don't like encourage players to feed the real frogs with fireflies mm. because that could be harmful for for the frogs. Qualified Gaming asked, "Can frogs eat axolotls?" Which just sounds very sad to me, but I'm just you know <laughs> delivering the question. <laughs> No, no, so frogs, uh, frogs can eat the tiny slimes, but it's a good question because uh, many of our viewers might know that there actually was a bug with the frog when we put it on the initial beta. And uh, yeah, maybe our viewers want to hear the story, so I can, I can tell the short version. Yeah. So <laughs> I, was, uh, I was developing, uh, developing the frogs and I was going to add this uh, eat, eat mob behavior for it, basically. And as I was testing it, I thought that they could, t could test it together with the goat, because the goat is actually one of my other favorite mobs in, in Minecraft. So 
while while building the feature, I temporarily added that the, the frogs could eat the goats, <laughs> which of course is very very silly. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it, it, right, it's uh, the the mighty frog. But what happened was that we we or or I forgot to remove that part of the code when putting it into the beta. So for the first beta, the frogs were actually eating goats. <laughs> and the first time I saw a player posting a video of this, I literally fell off my chair laughing because it looked so fun. That is amazing. It's amazing that you you basically pre-answered a question with the goats because Frank C. Vernis asked what was the funniest bug that you've yeah. encountered. And I can't imagine one funnier than, you know, <laughs> goats being my frogs. Yeah, for sure. Like it's, I, I did have a, a lot of other funny bugs as well. Like when, when I was actually doing this, uh, this behavior that it was supposed to eat, uh, eat the slimes. Uh, before I had actually made it to eat it, it was like catching the slime with its tongue. But then, the the slime was just being pulled to towards it without getting eaten. So the frog would just spin around and try to catch it quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, yeah, oh, you remember the video you showed? That was that was really funny. I yeah. think, okay, okay I, not... I have to send you two out. On, aren't you aren't you going oh, on a quest that's to true. find frogs? Because I think you're just standing by a little yes. pond. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a tadpole in a bucket, so we could bring the tadpole and try to find uh, either cold or warm biome. Yeah, Agnes, why 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 do we need to find a cold? biome because when they tadpoles grow up they pick a variant depending on the temperature of the biome that's how we like interpreted call being cold blooded in in minecraft shadow gaming wants to know about will you be able to breed and tame frogs you're able to breed them and you get tadpoles you cannot tame them uh, but you can tempt them and you can also bring the, the tadpoles in in a bucket Okay, so like you have the tadpole in a bucket and we're trying to find yes. a cold biome so that we can put the tadpole in the water. Exactly. Yes, so and then when it grew up. The, the tadpoles uh, live in the swamps, that's their natural inhabitant environment. And in the, the swamps, we have the slimes, right? And that, that's why they like to eat the slimes because the, the small slimes, they look really delicious. Like I would love to eat them. Uh, so currently we have the slime ball as the temp item for the for the frogs, and that is the, the, the item that is used to, to lure them. But the poor tadpole, oh no, <laughs> it's gonna turn to ice. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we need to find, uh, find, find a hole in the water. But it's gonna oh. freeze eventually, so we um, hope this, oh. is, not, <laughs> this is dangerous for the, the tadpole. Oh, yeah, no. I don't okay. love that we're gonna drop this little tadpole into here, but you know, it will <laughs> save we're you. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Something. <is> dangerous. <laughs> to make this even more complicated, our good friend Nir, who was on last month, has a poll that's in the YouTube chat, and all of you at home can decide on some interesting things that will surprisingly happen to Alexander and Agnes. Maybe yes. nice things, maybe mean things. I'm not going to say anything more, but just know that you get to decide what happens to these two as they freeze a tadpole. So I would assume it's one of the very kind things. I, guess. I don't what have any weapons. I don't have any swords. No, no, but why didn't you bring... Ah. If you go on expeditions, you need to bring swords. Save him, Agnes. Oh, I thank you. Oh, okay, I, maybe I'm maybe not that's... sure we're gonna manage to have the tadpole survive. I feel like this may have been the first thing the community voted on, which was pretty mean so far. <laughs> Especially yeah. when there's a baby zombie. <gasps> Don't freeze. Are you oh, we got one. Look, we got one. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, it's the green. It's the cold <gasps> frog. Look at it. So pretty. It's so cute. Soap wants to know if you can put a frog in a bucket. No, only no. the tadpoles. Only the tadpoles. Yeah. Frogs is a little bit too big to fit in the bucket, I think. Yeah. Oh, look at the water. I love but... it. <laughs> and, and I also like that since... um. You only can put the, the tadpoles in a bucket that kind of connects the system that the frogs are cold blooded and the tadpole system together, which I think is really nice because the easiest way then to transport frogs is to transport the tadpoles um, and then you can transport them to cold or warm places to get new variants of frogs. That's really awesome. Should we try to find a warm area? That is a cute. Yeah. Oh, we just leave it. Okay. Here. We can't take you in a bucket. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> 
Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> but I, it looks uh, happy. Yeah, it looks it, it looks happy. There's another tadpole in there too. Oh, it's following you still. It wants to make me love you. <laughs> oh, that's your is... favorite thing in of the the three variants we have. But I can't pick one favorite. They are all <laughs> lovely. Um, hmm. I think it was most fun with the the warm one, the one that it's like a white frog because that's inspired by wait, gray foam nest tree frog, and I I thought that real life frog was so cool when I read about it. So in that way, I, I really liked the. What's happened now? Did you? No, it was not me. I have well, a diamond uh -oh. sword. Uh oh, it's more <laughs> bad stuff happening to you two travelers. <laughs> I think something happened, but I think, I think it was Alexander. <laughs> Clever Roman <laughs> wants to know how long does it take for a tadpole to become a frog? Uh, it's a, a random chance between three to ten minutes at the moment. Ooh, that's cool. At the moment, so no, wait, dot, that, dot, that, dot. That, that is for the uh, spawn, <laughs> for the uh, spawn. Frog, frog spawn to, uh, to hatch, actually. But the time for the tadpole to grow up into a frog is the same as for any other baby animal, basically. Oh, oh no, I, I can't, I see, can't anything. see anything. <laughs> okay, uh -oh. I found you, Agnes. I'm behind you. Okay, behind you. okay, okay. Okay, we, we need to move. Used, we we need to go together here slowly. Which way do we. No, I, f I lost you. Again. I think I'm working in the right direction. I, I definitely feel that <laughs> this have, this hinders the frog search, all of you who right. voted for this one. <laughs> How upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, Agnes? I, I, no, you were supposed to walk right behind me. <laughs> if you're just now joining us, we are on an epic frog quest to try to find the variants. It was a phantom. No. But <laughs> bad things are currently happening to Agnes and Alexander. <laughs> okay, now I can see again. Oh, there you are. Okay. Oh, it's, oh. it's, it's, it's oh, she's been gone for No. <laughs> no, 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 and they're fantastic. Okay. Oh, no, no. This Oh no. Oh, this is too scary. But here's the village. I'm gonna go inside and then. <laughs> Good idea. Where is here? At least there's an oh, iron golem. Here is a villager living here, even. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna. Oh no. We need to stay full of us. Okay. <laughs> Alexander, since Agnes already answered and Ozzy Gaming Way asks, what's your favorite frog variant? So we know Agnes can't decide, but she likes the cold, uh, the uh, the warm biome. What warm. about you? Uh, I actually really like the, well, again, all of them are amazing, but I think that I like the green one, the cold one the most. Uh, I really like the colors. And I think that uh, she, our artist that has been working on them, have just done an amazing job with all of them. But yeah, from probably the, the green one is my favorite. Oh, I really like that one. It is, uh, yeah, like you said, the color stands out and it looks so nice on the snow. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's uh, it's really beautiful, and it kind of reminds me of the the frogs that uh, I I would you know see when I was a kid and playing in ponds and, and things like that in Sweden. I, I I always got so happy when I found frogs when I was a child. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! <laughs> but you you used to take care of them, right, Agnes? Well, yeah, I'm not sure that was good. I thought I was kind, uh, so I. I had tadpoles in an aquarium and saw how they grew up. Yeah. But, and then I let them out uh, outside <laughs> again after, when they grew up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I hope they was okay there. <laughs> so there's another pull up. And this one, I think it sounds like it's nice that you'll get an item chosen by the chat, but I, I worry that it still may be bad. But if you're watching, pick something to give to these two explorers Be who are kind. not uh, very easily finding a warm biome to make our next We already frog. struggle to find a warm biome. We yeah. need kind items. We are but, struggling. I guess, have you noticed that it has become night? So maybe we should have some something to light our path. That would be nice. I actually might have torches already. But yes, torches is a very good idea or something like that. Wasn't Alexander thinking of something else? May maybe I was thinking <laughs> of something else that can produce lights. You did? Oh! That, oh, you, <laughs> that you goes try, with frog. You were too <laughs> clever. Ah, you meant the frog lights. Yes, what, the, what are those, Agnes? What are the frog lights? Oh, watch out. 
you can't ask me about frog bites when a creep raised <laughs> right in front of me. <clears throat> okay. The frog lights are, are like the, the drop from the frog, and it's very uh, much Minecraft logic how you get them, but now I'm also attacked by a spider. <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I'll, I'll keep you safe if you keep telling them about the frog yeah, lights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Teamwork. laughs> um, so we knew already like very early when we designed the frogs that we want each frog variant to have something unique and nice for the players, uh, like a reward. And, and then we also knew that, okay, players often ask for new, like pretty light source blocks. So we thought, well, we can combine, combine this. And then originally the frogs were supposed to drop the frog lights when they ate fireflies, but because like fireflies, they're kind of light source. So that makes sense. But then when we changed that design, like, okay, so how do we make this make sense now? But I actually really like what we came up with. So the frogs eat uh, the, the small slimes uh, because they, you uh -oh. protect me. <laughs> because they, I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> because the small slimes live uh, in the swamps. It's like a nice ecosystem. And then we have the magma cubes. And I mean, they kind of look the same <laughs> as, as small slimes. So it's very logical that the frogs would eat magma cubes too. And magma cubes are almost like a light thing. So then if a frog eats a tiny magma cube, it's going to drop frog light. That is awesome. <laughs> and so there's three variants because there's frog lights for each frog. Yeah, yes. exactly. <gasps> oh, uh, no, no, I got the, an effect. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> the, uh, uh, the green frog, the cold frog, is going to drop a block that is called verdant frog light, and it's a green fro frog light. So I'm actually going to take one of them and place them here so we can light up our path a little bit. <gasps> wow. That's so pretty. Again, That's so like... pretty. Yeah, oh, and it's warming up so the... Excellent. <laughs> I, I, I think that, that, that it's not warming up things here. It's probably oh, someone... Uh oh, oh, watch out. Us. There's a phantom. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Uh, but then we also have the... Uh, uh, the yellow one, or the orange one, which is the called Ochre. Oh, Oker. wow. Oker. Also really pretty. Mm. That's really pretty. And the final one is the... Pearlescent frog light, which is my favorite. It's my favorite too. That's actually. gorgeous. It's but really it is it is good. melting the ice, right? Is that yeah. on purpose? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> it's it's warming up. Look at this. Oh, they're uh, really yeah. pretty. I can't wait to see what people build with them. What what do you two want to build with them? Yeah, go ahead, in your own world. I think these gonna be very valuable because it's quite tricky to you know get the frog to the nether so they can eat magma cubes. I think as soon as like I have one of these in my world, it's probably gonna have a quite like maybe part of some kind of um, art thing on, on a square town square or something like that, or maybe like part of a castle or something like that because it's a, a valuable block, uh, I think. They're really, really pretty. I love I them. I like them a lot, actually. Uh, I think ah. it was such a cool idea to to use the the, the, the magma cubes, the small magma cubes, because it <laughs> it makes sense, right, in in a Minecraft yeah. way, because they eat the small slimes. And the, the small magma cubes looks like the small slimes, so they get a bit confused, and then they eat yeah. them, and then yeah, we oh. get these cool blocks. That's super cool. Those are beautiful. Okay. The chat has given you something useful. Thank you, chat. Oh, we have a bed. So Agnes they gave you oh, beds. Find a safe space. Ow! Ow! What? <laughs> oh no! No! I'm coming. Where are you? <laughs> no, I killed the zombie. <laughs> Thank you, though. But I think uh, we are too many. Ah, oh, we should have. Uh oh, have many phantoms. <laughs> Also, we have just walked in a circle because we're back at the village. <laughs> so oh, Agnes, I'm gonna die. Oh, no, no. Don't, don't die. We don't this. Wait, I have food. No. Oh, no. no. <laughs> I'm alone. <laughs> this is a, a, a very terrifying frog quest. If you're just joining us, we're supposed to be looking for frog variants. <laughs> but instead, we are walking in circles. Not what's Alexander. happening. <laughs> Luckily, I were able to set my spawn point before I died, so I, I am near you. Okay, okay, you're back. That's impressive. I usually do not think that clear when I 
No, I just am yeah. that. <laughs> I'm not sure where you are now, Agnes. I'm by the frog lights. Uh, the, I'm in a snowy forest, and I'm also back. Oh. Currently, oh. Uh, I'm next to you now. Oh, how... Yeah, you tell okay. it to me. Let's find some heat. It's getting morning. It, this is not what I would describe as heat, but it's pretty. Yeah. yeah, no, I said let's find some heat so we can, you know, try that tropical frog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, desert. Where are you? And where, Alexander, did I... Where are you? Next there. to you. Yes. Woohoo! Always <laughs> next to me. Me. So nice I think... not to make sure you lose each other. <laughs> we are on this quest together. Yeah, we, we're a good team, actually, me and Agnes. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun working on the frogs with you and the other. Yeah. Amazing people in the team. <laughs> How many of you are working on the frogs? So people get a sense of like the the amount of people working on on I the mean, different things. It is like qu actually quite a quite a lot of people, but maybe six or seven, something like that, right, Agnes? Yes. Like, so then we have like design representatives. We have Java devs, Bedrock devs, artists, of course. Uh, sound. Sound. Yeah, very, very important feature sound. Yes. That's so, so cool. So you can hear the, the, the rabbit sound. Yeah, the, cro <laughs> the croaking <laughs> sound. <Yeah>. Oh, <laughs> little cuties. Well, here is a it's nice... A lot of ice, but very, very little sand around. Or or warm. No, no desert. No, definitely. <laughs> You're just on a very large <laughs> ice But we lake. should enjoy the journey. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. We have a really good question from uh, Sant R22, which is, is there a predator for the frogs? No, right? But the, the um, axolotl is going to eat the tadpoles. Yeah. <laughs> the ax oh, no! That, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's like the most adorable thing. <laughs> adorable. Yeah. <clears throat> but the, the, the axolotls attack all you know water animals so they That's attack true. the tadpoles too so yeah. will they attack frogs if frogs jump in the water no unfortunately no. The, okay the okay frogs are, yeah they are they, they are <gasps> once they're grown up they're safe yeah, but as exactly. a baby yeah. they're yeah. Yeah. a lot of food <laughs> need, need to, to survive oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay now, now we maybe we can find some something because now we're really it's quick i guess I think that I'm to run between wow. the Wow! This <laughs> I like this. Thank oh. you. This is a proof. This wow. is really nice. It's amazing that it was ice the whole time, though. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> I recommend Wait, running on the I, I thought I saw a cactus. <laughs> well, I found an area that is not ice, at least. Okay. Did you? I have a lot to do somewhere. I okay, Agnes. I, I think that I found a good area over, over where I am. Where are oh. you? Oh. <laughs> <I>, uh... Well, <laughs> I can only see snow, 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 snow icebergs. <laughs> well, and it's also, it's basically the end of the quest. So we got, you know, one frog. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we got to see the three frog lights. And, uh. you know, at the end of the show, we have a frog mini game. And then all the frog variants will be hanging out with us. So, Agnes and Alexander, you'll be back in a few seconds, basically, because right now it's time for a segment we call You Made It. So two months ago, when we were live, we gave you the topic of Warden. And for You Made It, we go through a bunch of Twitter submissions from hashtag Minecraft Now Submit, where you can show off your amazing creations around the Warden. And today, we are going to look through those with Agnes and Alexander, who have not seen any of the artwork. Well, they did see this one because this was last month. We had an axolotl. <laughs> it actually took me a few seconds to understand it, but when I got it, it's it's brilliant. I know, right? It's and fun, but so it's also adorable. I it love that the art. It is really <laughs> adorable. And this month, someone decided to take this theme but make it warden. So our first piece <laughs> of art is a swarden. I love it. 
so much. <laughs> so this is Cookie Cat Cat Five. Oh. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's brilliant again. So cool. It is brilliant. And it's the, the pun level is at Corey's pun level. <laughs> yeah, I love it. And then it's, it's good pun. So for the two of you, what would a what would a swarden do in like it, Minecraft Dungeons? It's a swarden. When you use it, you get darkness effect. Oh, that's a great Ooh. idea. Really idea. Cool. Yeah. Would be quite yeah. cool. Yeah. I, I like that. I like that they kind of have made in the artwork, it looks like it can hear. So maybe it's like absorbing sound oh, and getting more powerful. Yes. So it like, it, you know, the, yeah, the, maybe the, if you make a sound, then then it starts to shine and, and, and become super powerful. I, I like that idea. Yeah, it's That's really, really cool really with the cool. vibrations. Mm, I, like I love this idea. The next one is totally different than this one. <gasps> Loop wow. 67 made a terrifyingly amazing Minecraft Warden action figure. Oh, wow. This is epic. <laughs> wow. It's this is epic. something I think my nephew Timothy would love. It's so cool. I love the detail of, you know, the skulls in the belly, which you can kind of see yeah. on the skin. It's so cool. It's super cool. I think what said your nephew gonna like my my daughter would love it and i think many of us in the team would yeah, love it. I, would yeah love definitely. <laughs> I would there, love it myself actually there would definitely be a lot of fighting over this if it ever came to the mm -hmm. studio's office everyone would want to have that on their desk <laughs> it's a really really cool so the next one is what if you mix a warden and a goat together <laughs> This is from oh, Cloudy B420. <laughs> and we did this in Block Bench, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And I just love that when you mix a warden and a goat, you get a yeti. Yeah, I was going to say that. It's yeah. a yeti. It's something that can live in the mountains. It's adorable. <laughs> It's Imagine like if, so cool. if it has the same senses as the warden and if it hears you, it will basically ram attack you similar to the goats. <laughs> it's so scary. No, 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 no. I we, think this one the, looks kind. It's the it cutest, you. terrifying mob then. If it could do the goat power and the warden powers. I like the idea that it's cozy and sweet instead. And like, yeah. yeah. Super, super cool. The next one is another one that was made in Block Bench, which is really cool. You can go to minecraft.net slash creator wow. and actually make your own mobs. So this is called a Snuffler. And Snuffler. it is made by Fergustoni. And it's a warden where it relies on sniffing your food to find you. Oh, that's really interesting. Oh, I like that. I really like and it. And it looks so... I, I love the visuals. <laughs> it has so much character. Like, yeah. Oh. I, love I love that it has, like, really big nostrils. <laughs> like, they're really yes. big. The ears that are, are flapping around. I really like the ears. <laughs> that I mean, and that's super good design that you clearly communicate what the mob does. That's yeah. super, super good. Very it's clever. really cool. And I think the ears kind of look like some of the skulk blocks, don't they? Mm. You know, so yes. it like ties it yeah, in. Yeah, it's tied to all like the skulk family. Lovely. Very well thought out. And the last one I really love. <gasps> D Nails look made warden nails <laughs> and i want them all the time and like i think we should definitely do this for minecraft live next year it's just like yes. have all the spoilers on our nails so cool and hi hiding the nails and then the next update is <laughs> yes this is so wow. this has you see the candles i mean the warden one is just so cool it's yeah i love the beautiful. detail amazing so detail beautiful. really so such talented Really, yeah. really cool. Next month, we are going to have frogs. I cannot wait to see what you make with frogs. We will have more Mojang team members who are here to see your awesome art. We're so excited finding these very different things. This week we had action figures and puns and nails. So really, the sky's the limit. It can be in-game, out-of-game. Oh, wait, there we go. <laughs> Minecraft now submit uh, on Twitter and we will see your cool frog things. And now Agnes and Alexander are coming back to show us some Mojang builds.
<laughs> We're back with Mojang Builds. The two of them have some, like, this is a Mojang Studios server where everyone can build. And Alexandra, you're taking Agnes and I on a tour because you've been super involved in building this. <laughs> yes, I'm going to take you on a little tour. So uh, exactly as you said, this is a, a server where we at Mojang Studios play together. Uh, and this this is a Java server and we also have a Bedrock server. And uh, we that work in the Vanilla team, which is the team that works on Java and Bedrock uh, in, in the gameplay uh, part, of, part of the game, uh, we have built a vanilla tower named after our team. And of course, the vanilla tower is uh, white, like, like vanilla. So we, we built it of birch log. And we were a big group starting to build this tower together. And the idea was that it was going to go to the, to the top of the, the world, basically. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, tag, tag along and I'll show you around inside. It is really Thank cool. You. Let's see. What's I mean? That is an epic building so far. Uh, we, we we really wanted it to be uh, be be white, and we thought that birch birch would would be like a really really good uh, building material. But we didn't think about how long time it would actually take to get all of the birch wood. So we've been spending so long time having birch trees growing up, so we could uh, could build this. Okay, yeah. so you actually built it? Like you didn't use any cheats to get no, this no, birch? No, 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 absolutely not. We we, we built it all in survival. So uh, that's amazing. Good. I like that. That's uh, so much birch. Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, this is Anna's floor. Anna is a fantastic oh, uh, team member of ours, and yeah, she has a, a really pretty floor. So the idea is that there are many floors in this tower, so anyone can basically claim their own floor and decorate it and make it make oh, it their that's own. So cool! I love all the glazed terracotta. Yeah. So beautiful. Yeah, Anna's floor floor is really nice, and mm -hmm. some floors like this floor has not yet been claimed, so it's basically up for grabs. So maybe Agnes, this could be your floor. Ooh. Yeah, I should claim a floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Now we're gonna ha head up a couple of floors, and I think we we're going to go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they were ready for us. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go in here, and here is uh, this is Henning's floor actually. Whoa! Really, wow! Really cool yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the like all the wool. Uh, and I really love it. Pretty. I love that he took the the birch trees and like brought them inside, so it <laughs> exactly. matches the walls. It's really cool. <laughs> so he's, creative. He's really creative. And then it's this uh, stripped birch wood here as well. So it's very much birch, birch theme. Love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. So I'm gonna tell you of a sad story that happened to us, and this oh, no. was actually yeah, it was when we were developing the uh, the caves and cliffs updates. And as you know, in the in the caves and cliffs part one, we had the copper and we had the lightning rod. Unfortunately, before we got the lightning rod, we had the big lightning strike striking <laughs> striking our birch tower. <laughs> so half of the tower burned down basically. Uh, so that's why you can at some places see, you know, there is a little, little some holes holes that we still haven't covered up. But and, there's fire. <laughs> yeah, what? exactly. Like Ni Niklas, another teammate of ours, even though we had a big fire, he decided to, to Nicholas, leave some fire. Nicholas, don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> But yeah, so we had we had basically a big fire, so half of uh, half of the tower burned down, and we had to rebuild it again from scratch. But to be honest, like one of the favorite things for me when, when building stuff in Minecraft is just to to build stuff and find stuff. Uh, so I wasn't that sad that we had to rebuild it. I thought it was kind of fun to to do. It's mm -hmm. it's uh, yeah, building towers is one of my favorite activities. It it, it creates a story and a nice memory uh, as well. It's also it's very Minecrafty to accidentally burn yeah. things <laughs> down. I think that was my the first video I saw in Minecraft was the person who accidentally set everything on fire. And yeah. like we know that you like you know that feeling, so you can completely identify with it. Mm -hmm. What is yeah. this gorgeous place? <laughs> yeah, wow. this is actually, uh, I call it my penthouse. <laughs> this is <laughs> <laughs> yours. <Yeah, so laughs> this, uh, this used to be at the top of the tower, actually, uh, before Caves and Cliffs Part 2. So before Caves and Cliffs Part 2, the, the world, the, the height of the world was up here. But as you know, with, with uh, Part 2, it has uh, we have increased the world height. So at the moment, we're still trying to build to the top. We haven't gotten all the way there yet. Uh, but my plan is to uh, slowly move, uh, move 
move my my roof uh, top penthouse to to the new new top of the world at some point. And of course, I have a little swimming pool here because I I, I really love water and swimming. Oh, and, I was gonna say I will <laughs> I will take a new penthouse. <laughs> yeah, this is gorgeous. So I mean, are is everyone wow. allowed to just build out from their floor? Yeah, like, could you, this become a sort of, you know, like you you kind of take multi levels and it just keeps going? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You for turn sure. like to almost like a, a city in 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 the skies. That's quite cool. Yeah. Definitely. I don't like the t I oh. I don't like this view. <laughs> <laughs> Is it water somewhere here? Yeah. No. Uh, if you go out on the ledge, then you can jump down to water. So the the final Is there thing. A pond? I'm uh, there is a pond downstairs, but be careful so you don't. You need to land in the pond. Otherwise. Where is the pond? <laughs> <laughs> you left Agnes up there. You Remember, like, no one yeah. was behind. That's what we learned. Is it, is it where you adventure. are? <laughs> I can try. <laughs> I'm sure we, you will make it, Agnes. <laughs> uh, this is this is okay. I will. I will. Yeah. Fine. Don't just <laughs> jump, Agnes. I don't recommend this, but. <laughs> Whoa! Nice job, Agnes. <laughs> yeah. I don't like heights. Being up there, it really like when it felt very high. <laughs> yeah, but uh, where I am now is uh, a little bit like halfway up the towers. We actually decided to build a small birch forest uh, right at the side of our tower because we realized that of course we need a lot of birch to be able to, to continue building building it and it was a bit tedious to go down all the way every time so we made like a high altitude uh, birch forest that we that we can use to to continue build the tower and the nice thing is that we also have a really good view uh, over spawn point here so as you can see there are many many other really cool buildings that you can uh, you can find in spawn point and if i'm not mistaken that is something that is going to be explored in the coming up minecraft uh, now isn't that uh, right lydia i think so yeah this is just the start of seeing this really really cool world because there's a lot of things here and a lot of people have been building really really cool things i love that Akshat sharma actually called the team out and said that's why it took them so long to increase the height limit they got to increase the tower so yeah, that's you exactly. that's, that, 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 for sure i i agree <laughs> that's amazing okay we are going to head over to block buzz where jewel is going to tell us a lot of the cool things that have been happening this month around the minecraft world We are joined by my amazing colleague and friend, Jewel. Hey, Jewel. Hey, Lydia. Hey, everyone. My name is Jewel Faguni. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm a technical program manager at Mojang. So, so excited to be talking to y'all and talking about what's buzzing on the block. And there's a lot buzzing this month in February. You are so right. First, we're going to kick off with some history making news. Y'all, we did it. We reached over a trillion views on YouTube. Okay, come on. Over a trillion. A trillion. <laughs> it's so amazing. It's all the people who make content, watch content. Like, yeah, it's unbelievable. I can't even think it of is. a trillion. <laughs> like, that's wild. And that's because of you. So for real, like, go us. Go mm -hmm. us. <laughs> but also, there's some other great things happening in February. February is also Black History Month in the USA. And so it was founded in 1976, and it's dedicated to celebrating the accomplishments and impacts of the Black community. So super excited to celebrate Black History Month. And also, there are some great things you can check out on Minecraft to learn more. Yeah, in Minecraft Education Edition, we have a lot of great lessons about the history. And also check out Good Trouble, because I think that's one, a really amazing one. Yeah, it really is. So definitely dive in. Another great thing that's happening in February, because you know we all about the good news, is that it's Lunar New Year, okay? Yay. So February is the kickoff, and it spans over April. And also we have a great free map called The Legend of Nurzda, so definitely check it out. Happy New Year to all of you that are celebrating Lunar New Year. And then, okay, there's more. This is just a month of celebration, so there's one more celebration. <laughs> Yes, and y'all gonna love this, okay? To all my Dungeons players, all right? Shout out to you, because we have over 15 million players on Dungeons. So we want to celebrate with y'all at the Festival of Frost. 
Oh, it's so cool. It's a big party in game. And also, if you update your client, you are going to get a cool Isolager cape so that you can attend the Festival of Frost in style. <laughs> yeah, definitely show up with style because we'll be there, okay? <laughs> Joel, thank you so much. This has been amazing. I can't wait to see you next month to tell us more about cool things happening in Minecraft. Yeah, stay tuned. Always excited to tell y'all about what's buzzing on the block. So I'll see y'all next time. Bye, Joel. Bye. We thought we'd end the show with something very fun, and we have made a frog mini game. Morton made us a game. So Agnes and Alexander, are you ready to count some frogs yeah I, <laughs> yes. I feel a little bit anxious uh, yes but... exactly you have not i feel like that frog might have escaped so <laughs> we'll see but you can head backstage so there is a backstage you can start oh. walking and you will oh there's lots of cats i think that represents our team who's been working on minecraft now oh Oh, it's the oh, team. Love it the is team. the team, the Kiwi crew. <gasps> okay, <Very nice. laughs> here we have them. Oh, nice. Oh, so fantastic. Ooh, and we have... Okay. Oh, <laughs> they are wow. jumping around. This kind okay, of... <laughs> so the goal... <laughs> the goal is that you have one minute and everyone at, at, you know, on the stream, you can play this too. You're trying to count how many frogs are in this room. Oh my god. On your mark. Oh wait, 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 before, be don't count yet. Don't count. I forgot. The the winner gets to decide who sings. What's the, there's a Swedish frog song. Small, small. Small grodorna. Yeah, it's like a midsummer frog Yeah, yeah, exactly. Song. Sm Smogirodena, that is uh, one of my favorite songs, actually. I think <laughs> everyone in Sweden knows it. So midsummer, which is like biggest celebration in Sweden, basically. We, so we sing this weird song about little frogs and then we dance around. Okay, so whoever wins gets to decide who of us sings the song, but I don't know it, so it's not me, and I'm not playing the game. So it's one of you two. <laughs> okay, that's... We can uh... teach you. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fair. <laughs> you, you have... Can try... like, I met him. <laughs> you can try okay. to sing along, Lydia. Yes, perfect. Okay, you have one minute on the clock. You can run around however you want to try to count these. I would suggest getting down from the top and... I don't know, but on your mark. Get set. Frog count. Okay, I'm seeing a very interesting method here, which is just not looking like they are counting at all. Just running randomly <laughs> after frogs. I'm counting, I'm so trying hard. to see them all at the same time. <laughs> I, don't, I think it's very interesting. Like, are you supposed to accidentally count the sheep and the cow and the axolotl in this? Or it just make it look more full? It's not like the cow looks like a frog. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> Also, I did think there would be all the frog variants, so I'm sorry that I told you all you would see all the frog variants, and we just have the one, the one, but... Okay, you have 10 seconds left. Oh no, I forgot to count. No, you're no, frog. You cannot forget to count. <laughs> you have was, one minute to count. I was having fun with axolotls and the frogs. Okay, Bad. you're done. So, okay. I know the correct number of frogs <laughs> that are in this room being adorable. Agnes, how many frogs do you think it is? Uh, I think it's 22. And Alexander, how many frogs do you think it is? I want to say that Agnes took my number now, but then I'm going to say 21. Well, first of all, what? I would have never gotten this even close. It was 23. So oh. Agnes. <laughs> Agnes, you're the winner. So who gets to sing the frog song? Well, I would have loved to, but Alexander would get to sing. Thank okay. you, Agnes. But uh, then you, you will have to. That's very kind of me. 
you will have to join me in the dance in that case. Ooh, I also heard that a lot of people in the chat counted correctly and got the answer wow. 23. So that's, uh, that's impressive. Yeah. I would have been like, oh, there's five or 500, <laughs> but there would be no in between on my counting. <laughs> Would you then pick five or 500? 500. 500. 500 props. 500 props. <laughs> okay, nice. you trust this song, Alexander. All right. This is a <clears throat> Swedish frog song yes, with a dance. Uh, yeah, the small frogs, basically. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, okay, it's hard not to feel really happy after the frog song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So th th this is basically what we do in Sweden on our biggest holiday celebration. Everyone Perfect. would do this. And now you get to do it all the time because you're just constantly talking about frogs in the team. Yeah. So this should be like your your frog anthem. Oh, that's a that's a really good idea actually because in in our team we have a thing that every time we have a team meeting as we end the team meeting we're going to say croak team because that's you know the, the the sound that the frog does when it's croaking so we croak always team. End, yeah we always end by saying croak team okay i have a few the things to say to everyone out. and then we will do we'll do that as our 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 goodbye yeah, to everyone watching <laughs> Join us next month, March 10th. We're back with more Mojang team members hanging out, playing games, seeing new things. This was amazing. Agnes and Alexander, you are too fun. I could basically stay on here and just keep, you know, running around <laughs> forever. Thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. You, thank, thank you. Thank you so you much. And us. with that, I guess we say... Croak team! Croak team! <laughs>